All right, we're asked to add these two radical expressions. Um, certainly can't add or subtract fractions without common denominators, and we're a good bit away from having that. Um, it turns out that 4 is a perfect square and 100 is a perfect square, so we can actually simplify each of these first. So the square root of 4 is 2, but that 3 is simply stuck under the radical for now. The square root of 100 is 10, and again that 3 is stuck under the radical. At this point, you need common denominators in order to add or subtract. So our common denominator is 10. This denominator is already 10, so nothing will change with the numerator, but the other one to get from 2 to 10 we will multiply by 5 so we have to do the same thing to the numerator. So we end up with 2 times 5 is 10, uh, 5 times the square root of 3 usually we write that with uh, the 5 in front this means the same thing, but it, I'm just more accustomed to seeing it written this way. And now we do have common denominators. Uh, keep in mind there is a 1 in front. So when we add these, we get, I think I'll have to back out a little bit. Six. Oops, I forgot square root of 3 over 10. And then this can reduce by a factor of 2. So 2 goes into 6 3 times, 2 goes into 10 5 times. So our final answer is 3 times the square root of 3 over 5. Oops, sorry. A little bit off the screen there. So that's our final answer.